Welcome to The Way to Build Wealth. I'm Ethan Block. That is Warren Buffett. And together, we're helping you build wealth. Welcome to the show. So yesterday, I talked about the four fund portfolio and why the four fund portfolio is probably the optimal and easiest way for the majority of people to put together an extremely powerful and wealth-building portfolio comprised of a money market fund and three index funds. Now, what I want to give you a little bit more guidance on today is the appropriate allocation, meaning the amount of uh, you know, the total assets of your portfolio that should be allocated towards each of those four funds. So let's just get right into that without wasting anyone's time. The money market fund. As a rule of thumb, you shouldn't really have anything less than 5% of your portfolio in the money market fund. It's just, you know, you want to make sure that's well funded. It gives you flexibility. If something pops up in your life, you need to repair your car, you need you know, you know, some medical expenditure, you have the money market fund for that, but you also have it there to take advantage of opportunities in the market. You know, you don't want to not ever have uh, any cash, any dry powder on hand. So keeping the money market fund well funded is key to that. The next fund is the bond market index fund. And the general rule of thumb with that is to take your age and turn it into a percent. So if you're 30, you would allocate 30% of your assets to the bond fund. Now that is as conservative as you want to get. Personally, I would take my age, turn into a percent, and then have it. And that's what I would put into the bond fund. But again, that's up to you uh, to tweak to your own liking. Next fund is the International Stock Market Index Fund. Now for this fund, you can allocate anywhere between 5 and 30% of your portfolio into that fund. Uh, again, no less than 5 because if you're going to put less than 5% in any fund, you might as well not even hold it because it's not really going to move the needle that much and you, know, you should be committed to the funds you're buying. So having that 5% rule is a pretty good rule to make sure you know what you're doing and that you're committed. Again, 30%, I wouldn't go into more than that. Like I've talked about, the fact you own a total U.S. stock market index fund, a lot of U.S. companies kick ass throughout the world, so you're already going to be profiting off of world growth. And finally, lastly, anything that's left over after you figure out the different percentages of those first three, you put in your domestic or total stock market index fund. It's extremely simple. You really can't overexpose yourself to U.S. corporations. As I just said, a lot of them do business all throughout the world. And again, you know, this is amazing. Some of the world's best corporations are in America. So anyone who's from Europe, I'm sorry, guys. It's just the way it is. So that's it for the day. The next episode that'll finally tag on to this one will give you some additional tweaks uh, and how additional tweaks to help you personalize uh, the four fund portfolio just a little bit more. That's it for now. I'm Ethan Block. That is Warren Buffett. I know, miniaturized, but trust me, it's really him. We talk when the show's not running. And together, we're helping you build wealth.